the phase is of action potential. So to depict that in a diagram, we can draw the time in milliseconds on the x-axis and the membrane potential in millivolt on the y-axis. So we know that the resting membrane potential for a neuron is minus 70 millivolt, right? So when a stimulus is applied, after a brief latent period, there will be increase in the potential. So initially there will be a small latent period and after that there will be a slight, there will be increase in potential from minus 70 to minus 55 millivolt. Now once it reaches this threshold potential of minus 55 millivolt, there will be rapid increase in the potential. So this phase is known as the phase of depolarization. Now once it reaches a plus 35 millivolt, the potential will start decreasing and that phase is known as the repolarization phase. Once the repolarization phase is reached, the, the potential will continue to decrease even after the resting membrane potential and that phase is known as after hyperpolarization. And after this stage, the membrane potential will come back to its resting membrane potential.